Thank you, Kasha. First of all, I would like to thank you for coming to my parlor. And uh, the topic you have chosen, immigration, is uh, because it concerns all of us, and I think you, it is a very good attempt by you to write. But immigration has been going on for a long, long time. I think that we are in the third or fourth generation now of immigration. The people who came here in early 90s, I think they had really big, big problems of migrating here. Because we all know migration is not easy. And as the people grew here, migration population grew here, things started getting better and better for them. But anyway, your efforts, what you are doing, uh, I do appreciate them. And the event you held last week in Manchester, I think that was a fantastic event. And I think uh, a lot of people who expressed their feelings, how they migrated, was fantastic experience for others to listen. And the similar way, I migrated here in 1964. And uh, things were, again, a bit changed, a bit relaxed, but still we had a lot of difficulties. Uh, difficulties when I say uh, there were not many jobs at that time, there were not many people who could guide us, and we had to do a lot of th certain things we didn't know. Or we were even misled by some people because nobody knew what was right. Talking about when I came here, uh, I can tell you, Kashif, uh, things were very, very hard because there was no technology, uh, no facilities. Uh, we had to suppose, I, I can give you my own example. Uh, I was studying in Government College Lahore, which I think everybody knows, one of the best institutions in Asia. When I migrated, I couldn't find any office work. I had to start in a factory. Uh, and I did there a one-year job, and that helped me a lot. Then I joined, found a job in drawing office, and that helped me even further. And later on, I was taken as inspector. So when I got inspector, life got a bit easier for me. And uh, later on, in 1969, I started my own business. You know, even today, to start a business is not easy. Similar way, we found a lot of problems, a lot of hardships. But anyway, if one is determined to do something, he can always achieve his goals. And uh, well, I, I was very successful in business. That's what I can say. And later on, then I joined the politics, local politics. I joined the Labour Party. And uh, because I was always willing to join the Labour Party because I like the Labour Party, I like their policies, especially towards the immigrants. I think they are far better than other parties. So uh, after three, four years, they asked me if I am interested to become a councillor. Obviously, it was an opportunity for me, so I gave my consent and I was elected uh, councillor from Clifford Ward in Manchester, in Trafford. And, uh, my majority was very, very convincing. After 11 years being councillor, uh, then I became the mayor. This was a great opportunity, and I will say, this is a great opportunity for anybody to be mayor. Uh, it's, it's a great honor, not only for myself or anybody who is elected. I think a great honor for the whole community, for the whole immigrants. Uh, now, I'm going back to the difficulties back in 1960s and 70s. As I said, the money was not uh, available. Wages were very, very low. As I said, you know, I started working, and I started earning 10 pound a week in 1964. Similar way in 60s and 70s, wages were not very high. The difficulties for the immigrants, because you leave your loved one behind, and uh, obviously some people have older parents, some people have wives, children, young children. And similar way, when I think someone loses his loved ones, like parents or grandparents, in those days it was very, very hard to go back. And it was not easy even to get there in time for the funerals. So 
Those people, like me, have suffered always and missed our loved ones because we could never see them again once we left the country. Similar way, that some people could bring their families and if something happened to their young children, even that is the case with me, what I have suffered, they suffered again. As, as the time passed away, things started getting better, technology came in, more and more flights started from Manchester, Bradford, Birmingham, and it got convenient because as soon as you hear about someone's illness or death, one could arrange to get back. And uh, so things are much, much easier now regarding that. Uh, Kashif, once again, I would like to say uh, the efforts you are making uh, are very, really appreciable and very, very good efforts you are making. And I wish you every success in your efforts, whatever you are doing. And I hope this will even help to bring the communities together. And I think you are doing a fine job. I am proud of you, Kashif. Uh, we need immigrants like you as well. Thank you. If, if I can be there for your help, my cooperation with you will always be there at any time when you need me. I am for you there. Thank you.